happy day students welcome to class 7 english grammar the topic is adjectives before getting into the topic adjectives i would like to show you few examples and based on the examples we are going to learn about adjectives look at the very first slide what do we see here we can see a young girl and a young boy followed by two old people yes let's look at the second slide what do we see here exactly a tall girl and a short boy very good let's move on to the third slide what do we see here here we see a heavy boy and a thin boy so what is the very purpose of seeing all these examples what we have done here yes we described the nouns with the help of adjectives like heavy thin young old tall and short let's discuss about adjectives what is mean by adjective look at the example given here a blue bird a green bird a yellow bird here these adjectives blue green and yellow describes the bird that is the noun look at the second example a bird here we don't have any adjective the noun the bird is not described with any of the adjectives look at the next example rita is my friend she works in star hospital and she is a doctor when i ask you people to add all these sentences together how will you join these sentences exactly my friend rita who works in star hospital is a doctor otherwise we can join the sentences like my friend rita who is a doctor works in star hospital with the given examples i am going to introduce two types of clauses the first clause is the main clause which is also known as the independent clause and the second clause is the dependent clause and with the given example let's discuss about the main clause my friend rita is a doctor my friend rita works in star hospital why i am giving this as a main clause it is called as main clause because it can form a complete sentence by standing alone it is not dependent on any other clauses to give you the meaning main clause makes sense on their own when coming to the dependent clause look at the examples given who works in star hospital and who is a doctor dependent clause is a group of words that cannot stand alone as a complete sentence when you read this group of words like who works in star hospital who is a doctor will you get any kind of meaning in this sentence definitely not my dear children it is an embedded clause inside another clause it is completely relied upon the main clause to give the meaning so what is the purpose of the dependent clause the dependent clause like who works in star hospital who is a doctor describes about the noun rita so what is the work of an adjective adjective will always describe the noun so here the dependent clause is also describing the noun rita so 
So what can we conclude from these examples? Very good. Dependent clause is also called as an adjective clause because it works as an adjective. It does the work of an adjective. How? By describing the noun. It does the work of an adjective by describing the noun. So dependent clause are also known as adjective clause. What is the work of an adjective clause? I told you adjective clause will work as, a, as an adjective. So the adjective clause qualifies a noun or pronoun or it begins with the relative pronouns like who, which, whom, whose, where and that. You can easily identify the adjective clause with these relative pronouns. Let's find out the adjective clause. Charlie has a friend whose daughter lives in China. So what is the adjective clause in this sentence? How will you find that? Yes, with the help of the relative pronoun whose. Whose daughter lives in China describes the noun friend. So Charlie has a friend is the main clause followed by the adjective clause whose daughter lives in China. Let's move on to the next example. People who are smart follow the rules. So what is the noun here? People. So what is the relative pronoun? Who. Who are smart follow the rules. So who are smart is the adjective clause. People is the noun. So who are smart, the adjective clause describes the noun people. Then moving on to the third example. I can remember the time when cell phones didn't exist. What is the relative pronoun? When. So it describes the noun, the time. So we clearly understand that adjective clauses describes the noun and it functions like an adjective. Let's move on to the participial adjectives. What does mean by participial adjectives? Participial adjectives functions like adjectives. Participial adjectives are classified into present participles and past participles. How to find out the present participles? It is very simple, my dear children. By adding ing to the verb, we can easily form the present participle. By adding ed or en to the word, we can easily form the past participles. Look at the example. Interest, interested. This is the past participle example. Let's discuss the past participle and present participle in detail. The participle forms of verbs are the base form, the S form and the past form. When coming to the present participle, we are adding ing to the verb to make it as a present participle. If you add ed or en, then it becomes past participle. So here we comes to the end of the video. I hope you would have enjoyed this video and you would have learned about adjectives, adjective clauses and the participial adjectives. Have a good day. Thank you.